If you love New Year's resolutions and goal setting and planning, you're gonna love this episode. We're gonna talk about three ways you can get more prepared in 2024. One of the reasons I love a new year is just, it's this idea of a fresh start, of excitement, of being able to move forward. As a type A goal setter personality, I'm always looking for ways to improve. And so what I want us to talk about today is how we take our normal New Year's resolutions and we turn those into readiness. Because what I want for you more than anything is for you to feel like you are prepared for anything that can come your way. And I'm guessing if you're watching this channel, you wanna be more prepared. So as you think about where you are on this preparedness journey, I just want you to slow down and go, hey, am I where I wanna be? If the answer is no, that's okay. I would assume the answer is no if you're watching this channel. Maybe you're in the first week and you have just Googled prepping and this is the first video you've landed on. If so, welcome. Maybe you're five years into your journey and you know that you have kind of the foundational pieces set, but there's still some things you wanna learn or some skills you wanna develop. One of the mistakes I see a lot of people make is that they get into prepping because they realize that there are a lot of things that are outside of their control and they want to have that sense of security, but they haven't really thought about exactly what it is they are planning for. And so they go online and they just buy a bunch of supplies or they just start learning new skills without really thinking how that fits into their overall plan. The first step that you want to think about is really assessing your risks and your needs. We all start this preparedness journey for different reasons and we all have different goals for where we're trying to get to. But what we wanna do at the beginning of the new year is really think about what it is that we are trying to prepare for. You may wanna ask yourself questions like, what event made me wanna start prepping? Usually there is something that happens to us that makes us kind of get into prepping or there is something that we've read or thought about or, or seen that we go, hmm, maybe it makes sense to get more prepared. As I've talked about in other videos, my prepping journey started because I went to a national defense class where we talked about all of the things that could go wrong in our country over the next decade. And it was a little bit eye-opening and a little bit scary. And so what I realized is I wanted to become more prepared for any kind of emergency, whether that was a natural disaster or a man-made disaster, whether that was a terrorist threat or a bad economy. I just wanted to know that I had the supplies and the skills I needed to be a little bit more self-sufficient. By taking that step of really identifying the needs and the risk, we can create a clear plan for you moving forward. And that just helps with this year long kind of vision of where it is that you want your preparedness journey to go. What feelings are you trying to avoid, whether that is fear or uncertainty or just chaos? And what feelings are you trying to chase? That's probably a sense of peace, an idea of calm. All right, the second strategy is just to be proactive instead of reactive, or the way I like to say it is let's be prepared, not scared. What we wanna do is use this year to be proactive, to think about what are the steps I can take now to feel more prepared in whether that is three months or six months or 12 months from now. When we get into a reactive phase where we're just responding to the things that are happening around us, it really puts us in a fear state and that can be really actually detrimental to our prepping journey. With the new year, we can kind of change that mindset. We can think about where we are right now and think about the things that we want to accomplish moving forward. So again, those are probably some of those things that are going to be very tactical. It's going to be storing the water or storing the food or buying the medical kits, or it's going to be learning a specific skill. So as we think about this proactive versus reactive strategy, the next step is really coming up with our plan. And the plan is the concrete steps that we are going to take. It is the things that we are going to do, the supplies that we are going to buy, the skills that we are going to learn. I want you to think about what your plan is. And I have two strategies I like to talk about when I talk about planning. The first one is just by planning on major category. It is by thinking through prepping from a, hey, how do I survive in any situation? And if you haven't watched it yet, you can watch my getting prepared video and that will show you the six categories I recommend. By using those categories, you can really kind of break down preparedness into steps. Because there's six categories, you can break those down by month. One of the things that my husband and I like to do is think about our prepping journey in terms of each month. This helps us make progress over a wide area of things over the course of a year. The second strategy we like to use for really creating that plan is just using those to do, to buy, and to learn list, right? So when we break those down by month, what we tried to do is pick something that we needed to buy, something that we needed to learn, and then something that that we needed to do. So maybe in January, we're gonna pick three things off of that list and maybe your to buy item is just going to be freeze dried food. Your to learn skill is going to be crocheting and your to do is going to be cleaning out that guest room closet so you have more room for food storage. Again, if we break it down in those categories by month, it can give us some really big wins along the way that give us some motivation and encouragement. 
What we want to do as we create this preparedness plan is not to think about the necessarily the end goal, especially if your goal is to be an off-grid homesteader, right? There's so many steps between suburban America and off-gridding that I can't even begin to list them all. If we think too far down the road and our end state is too far away, it can be overwhelming because there's so many things that we feel like we have to do. So I want to encourage you just to take this new year and really sit with some of those things we talked about. I want you to take inventory of where you are and where you want to go. I want you to get into the mindset of being proactive instead of reactive and thinking about the things that you can do to move move your preparedness journey forward. And I really want you to create actionable ideas, whether you use the monthly plan or the category plan, just something to move that prepping journey forward. I would love to hear your strategy that you're gonna use in 2024 to be more prepared. And as always, if you found this content useful, I would love it if you hit subscribe, hit like, hit the notifications button so you'll never miss a video again. I try to post every week and I am so glad you are here on this preparedness journey with me. Mm -hmm.